Happy Pride Month, everyone. I am going to show you how I made this piece today. Can you see it? The colors in this are all teal piece. Um, I have not had time to varnish it. I think that once it's varnished, the colors will pop a little more than they do right now. But yeah, so that's the piece that I did. I'm in the collaboration with uh, a bunch of other amazing artists. We'll be um, premiering today, the 12th of June, and also again on the 14th of June. The playlist will be in the description, and um, it's all in honor of Pride Month, uh, which is why I used the Pride colors, which is why I have the flag hanging here. So um, yeah, I didn't really wanna spend too much time talking to you guys, so I hope that you enjoy this video and I, that you enjoy the whole uh, collaboration and um, happy Pride Month to everyone. Bye. Happy Pride Month. Hi, it is Yen here from Yen C Art. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, I'm working on a 40 by 40 centimeter canvas. My base coat is the Creative Inspirations Titanium White. Um, on top of that, uh, of the colors that I'll be swiping, I am uh, putting the Amsterdam uh, it is the permanent blue violet and then all the colors that I'm using are TLP colors um, I am doing a hide and reveal swipe the Jessica Winterstrom swipe you may know the purple one I'm using is violet rain then for the blue I have chosen the sapphire and for the green I have chosen this little piggy, Echeveria. And uh, yellow is the submarine. And then there will be the orange which is mango. Love that color. Well I love all of them so but yeah this one is really a great one. And the red one, the last one, is uh, Maraschino. So, as you know, this is in celebration of Pride Month. Um, I am working with a bunch of other amazing artists. Um, today, June the 12th, you will most likely already have seen Brian. He just went, he went right before me. And right after me, it'll be Nate. And uh, after Nate, we'll have Janice. Kelly and the Massey boys at the end today. Then on the 14th you'll have Mitchell, Gabriel, Dave and my two wonderful friends Taniva and Britta and then Michelle will be ending the train on the 14th. While I'm preparing my canvas uh, I will would like to take a few minutes to talk about Pride Month, why it's still important, why we're celebrating it um, and yeah, so the reason why it's still important. Pride Month is a time when we celebrate love, diversity and the incredible contributions of the LGBTQ plus community. It's a chance to honor the bravery of those who fought for our rights and to recognize the ongoing struggles we still face today, sadly. We celebrate Pride to affirm our, our identities, to stand in solidarity with one another and to remind ourselves and the world that love is love. It's a time to show that everyone deserves to be treated with respect and dignity, regardless of who they are or who they love. Simple as that. Some people seem to think that there's no reason to have Pride Month. Why are we celebrating? Uh, what, what do we have to fight for? Is there anything to fight for still? But even today, in many parts of the world, LGBTQ plus rights are under threat. I have a few examples. In the United States, there have been numerous attempts to pass, law, to pass laws that discriminate against LGBTQ plus individuals. For instance, several states have proposed or enacted laws that restrict access to gender-affirming health care for transgender youth. In Hungary, recent laws have banned the, the depiction or promotion of homosexuality 
and gender change in media and education materials accessible to minors, which severely impacts the visibility and acceptance of LGBTQ plus people. In Poland, certain regions declared themselves LGBT free zones, which is a symbolic rejection of LGBTQ rights and fosters a hostile environment for the community. In Uganda, lawmakers have introduced bills that would impose several penalty, severe penalties, including life imprisonment and the death penalty for same-sex relationships. Just think about that for a second. These are just a few examples, but they illustrate why Pride Month is not just a celebration, but a crucial time for advocacy and visibility. It's disturbing to see that some of us artists actually lose subscribers just for celebrating Pride Month. Uh, I know that I lost a few last year, but I'm a small channel. I know that some of the bigger channels, like Karen Durstian, uh, lost in the hundreds just for being taken part in a Pride Month celebration. Uh, this It shows that there's still a lot of work to, to be done in terms of acceptance and understanding but this also highlights why pride is so necessary. It's a reminder that we need to keep pushing for a world where everyone can live authentically and safely. So, um, yeah, I just want to say while, while I'm getting ready to do the swiping, um, let's all remember the importance of standing up for what's right, supporting one another, and spreading love and acceptance. I'm so happy that you're joining me and hopefully all the other artists in this uh, collaboration and celebration of Pride Month and I hope that you enjoy watching this. Um, I will be playing some music for the rest of the time because you've listened to my voice long enough. I do hope that you enjoy this. Please stick to the end. Remember that after me is Nate and do go check out all the other um, artists. There will be playlists for both days. Happy Pride Month to everyone and thank you again for joining me. Bye. What you do Before the sun goes